In the, in the second part, I want to turn to talking about common sense scene understanding. And to get a sense of this, look at these scenes here. And again, we're, just like you saw in the last talk, we're going back to childhood here. I think you can study everything you need to understand intelligence, not in kindergarten, but actually even before you get to preschool. Current machine vision systems, at best, when they look at scenes like this, might understand them in these terms. They might be able to tell you that there's a child playing with blocks. In fact, at least the best publicly available state-of-the-art caption systems say something more like this, a child sitting on a table, a child in a room. But regardless, think about how much you would need to go beyond any one of these linguistic descriptions to really make sense of what's going on here if you were this child. Right? You'd have to go way beyond this. You'd have, to, you'd have to do what we call intuitive physics and intuitive psychology. You'd have to perceive all the 3D objects there, their sizes and shapes and where they are, their physical properties, at least enough to be able to pick them up. You'd have to understand something about the physics of gravity and support to be able to build a stable tower. You'd have to understand something about the goals, what's inside the other minds of the other kids you're playing with. I think you can see this most dramatically in what by now is a video from a classic experiment done about 10 years ago by the development psychologists Wernicken and Tomasello. Watch this video here. It's from an experiment on spontaneous helping behavior in 18-month-olds, one-and-a-half-year-olds. The experimenter is the big guy, Felix. Okay. The, the subject in the experiment is the little kid who's watching, and he doesn't know what's going on any more than you do. But think about what's going on inside his head. He sees Felix banging against the cabinet. It looks like he needs help. How do we know that? Well, watch what the kid does. Okay, you got it. Now, the key, yeah, good. The kid is the one who deserves the applause. Here's the key moment. When he looks back, he looks up at the guy, then he looks down at the hands and tracks the rest of his motion. Okay, that shows you that he's, he's thinking, did I get what you, what you were trying to do? Did I do the right thing? Did I help you? Let me see, okay? That, that's, that's the heart of intelligence right there. And I think this is a grand challenge for AI, not just cognitive science. If we could reverse engineer what's going on inside that kid's mind, just think of what we could do with robots and other machines that could really help us out.